Hey, hey, this is Brad. You know what? Over the last 18 months, Sharpen's Best has grown. And you know what? We leave behind some of our products. Um, you know, go off and do other things, uh, other, other products. And uh, that's a bad because this is really one of our good products. The, uh, the little rectangular one that fits right in your watch pocket. Okay, and it's about, I'm thinking, uh, an inch and three-eighths by two inches by five-sixteenths of an inch thick. It's got the cross V carbide on it. It's got the open face straight line carbide on it. Of course, it's got the keychain so you can hang it off your keys or something like that. Um, so let's, uh, let's demo it for a little bit and, um, you know, show it that it's really not our ugly red-headed stepchild. So let's uh, pull a piece of paper out of our rusty, trusty Denver magazine here. Uh, we'll go in this way. And, well, come on. Well, how weird. Like that. And, uh, oh, the glue is hot. It's a hot day. That is too funny. I've never seen the magazine uh, with the glue actually warmed up sitting out there like that. So let's look and see. Um, let's check uh, the knife here. Okay, we don't. Oh, there it caught. Okay, well, I'm going to fix that because you actually have to saw the paper. So let's uh, start out new. Woohoo! Boy, I'll tell you what, it's a good hot day. Um, I always uh, try to explain it to you. All right, there's uh, two corners sticking out here. They're 90 degree corners. There's one 90 degree corner right there, and another 90 degree corner right there. Those are the straight line open face uh, carbides, and it does have a V notch. All right, and that's actually two of these on a V, one up this way and one up this way with the corner sticking out there that you can draw the knife through there like that. Of course, it has a keychain. Um, you know, like I say, it's about two inches by inch and three eighths. It's made out of a glass filled nylon and tungsten carbide. So I'll just kind of hold still there and you can come down there and take a look at it. Okay, now let's, uh, let's fix this knife. Okay, so we're gonna take one of the 90 degree corners, like that one right there. Because I'm right-handed and I tip it over this way, I'm gonna have it like that. You know what, that blade of that knife is actually hot. <laughs> um, so anyway, uh, we have two radiuses. We have an inside radius, outside radius, so we're gonna fix this knife. Uh, we do have the serrated edge, and I can work on that and show you the same thing, how to work on that. All right, so we're just going to run it along here like this. I don't even notice the inside radius is there. I'll slow down a little bit, set it down, slide it, set it down, slide it. Uh, don't lean it over so far that you actually cut the plastic. Uh, I'm going to actually go through one here in a little while uh, and show you where somebody uh, leaned it over so far that it was evidently on the plastic constantly and then it caused problems so let's just do this right now i'm just going up as far as that point right there so we go like this through that little round the radius there and then we're going to turn come right on around this way that knife is actually pretty steep on the bevel so it may not have cut real well when it was brand new so we just do this for a little while now i'm going to turn it over and do the same thing on this side Turn it a little bit this way. Only on the corner of the sharpener. And don't lean it over on the plastic. We don't want to do that. So just like this. Like that. Come back here. Out there. Back here. Out there. It's so simple to sharpen knives my way. Especially uh, when they're inside outside radiuses. Now we just touch it lighter and lighter and lighter. See, if we just slow down, it'll go right up off the point and right on around. So just like that. All right, let's see what we got here. Now, oops, the glue is stuck to the paper. That's too funny. All right, so let's see. Remember what it looked like before. It's sure cutting a lot better now than it was. So let's work on it one more time. This is called the rectangle. It comes from way back, uh, one of the first products made. Slide it right on around like this. Flip the knife over, go through that round inside radius there. Then up onto the point, right on around the outside radius, off of the point there. 
Okay, now I'm just going to brush lightly and polish the blade a little bit, just like that. I'm going to polish the blade just a little bit longer this time than I did last time. See if I can make sure that there's absolutely no wire edge sticking out there. It's getting smoother and smoother and smoother, so I know it's getting better. All right, let's see what we got now. Oh, that is such a difference. Oops, dense paper. Make it cut like that. Come clear down here. Oh, come on, catch for me, would you? Just like that. All right. All right, let's make it just a little sharper. Yeah, I know you can be sitting there saying, oh, I make my knife sharper now. Well, you sure might, but you're gonna have to do a lot more work. You're gonna have to have some pretty expensive, really fine grain whetstones. My sharpeners uh, are the best out in the field where there's no electricity. You don't have benches to work on. You just pull this thing out of your pocket, start sliding it down the blade, put it back in your pocket, no fear of it breaking. Whetstones, if you drop it, if you happen to drop it right on a rock or something, you're going to break your whetstone. All right. So let's do it again here. All right. Oh, that's good. You know what? The rectangle. Go online, sharpensbest.com. Take a look. Find the rectangle. Um, you know, we kind of forget some of them, you know, the sharp and spark and all that stuff uh, comes along. Next thing you know, we have to go back and kind of reiterate some of the products that we had. This is the rectangle. Go to sharpensbest.com and take a look. We'll talk to you down the road.